this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Quick shout out to C. Carvagilis for this book request. I'll be reading Why Worms. Andrew had a drawing book. A big, fat, enormous drawing book. It had lots of please fill me up pages. So Andrew drew on them with his fat red crayon. He drew cars, cats, and cowboys. He drew kings, queens, and astronauts. He drew horses, hills, and helicopters. But most of all, he drew worms. Lovely, wriggly worms. Why worms? asked his mom. Because I like them, said Andrew. And they're easy. So Andrew drew worms long, lean, curling ones that wound all over the page. He drew tiny, squished up ones in the corners. He drew worms on their backs, on their fronts, and upside down. There were worms so thin, they tangled up like string. And worms so fat, they filled a whole page with one wriggle. Andrew drew worms in cars, under cats, and in cowboy hats. He drew worms that rode horses, crawled over hills, and waved out of helicopters. He drew and drew until there were no worms left, and the big, fat, enormous drawing book was full. Andrew looked around for somewhere else to draw. But there was only the wall, the beautiful white bedroom wall. So he drew an especially big, happy worm. It weaved its way along by Andrew's bed and peeped around the corner to smile over his pillow. Come and see my happy worm, shouted Andrew. But his mom didn't like the worm at all. In fact, she was very angry. She made him wash the worm away with a wet cloth. So Andrew was sad and he drew sad worms on his pillowcases. His mom didn't like the sad worms either. She took away his crayon and his pillowcase to wash. Time for bed, she said. So Andrew had to dream of worms instead. The next day, Andrew wanted to draw again. We're going shopping first, said his mom. And Andrew's mom bought him a new, big, fat, enormous drawing book with even more pages and an especially blue, blue crayon. But Andrew was fed up with the worms now. So he drew spiders instead. The end. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what books you like for me to read next. As always, thank you for listening.